Hello, this is Chiak. We are back in again with Siberia, the, <laughs> the the world before. Okay, sorry. I am so last set. I had turned off the music audio, but I realized that if more classical music were to come on, I wouldn't be able to identify what is playing. So I turned it back on. Though, if ever it sounds like the sound effects and music are completely gone, including maybe characters' dialogue, there is a reason why. Because <laughs> yes, unfortunately those classical music will definitely get me hit with a copyright claim because trust me trust me i know um <laughs> though that second song took me a really long time was it the second song which was was it just last set or the set before i can't remember probably just the set before but yeah it, like it took me a long time to figure it out because i was recognizing it but at the same time I couldn't find it until I finally was, I just used the website, literally exported the music, uploaded it to the website so it can tell me, and found out that it was an orchestra version of another Chopin's song. So I guess Chopin's music is going to be used a lot in this, which honestly, I'm happy about. Uh, honest, they, so far these seem to play, if not the full length of the song, at the very right beginning of the song. So if you want, you can listen it to yourself since I am telling you what they are, if I can identify them. Either way, let's get started with this to return to the guest house where, I'm kind of curious, is uh, that investigator going to be there? Oh, so where the oh, hell- Oh, gosh. What a day. Where else did I miss? Because I was supposed to explore this district, right? Before I went off on the train, but like, what did I miss? There must have been like one singular um, point that I should have clicked on in order to instigate the, it's like, oh, you have looked around the district. Congratulations. What am I looking at here? Something on the ground. No, Oscar's okay, oh. wherever he is. The... I'm not abandoning him. I just need to find him. How do we find him? Is he going to be in our room? How would he know? Yeah, actually, that's the question. How would he know? Wait, 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 wait. Gustav Dom... Dombre? I honestly do not know how to pronounce that. Okay, so these are just visual looks. Great, wonderful. We're gonna enter in. All right, we turn to the guest house, go to bed, check out the latest discoveries on the computer before you go to bed. Okay. That's the secondary objective. Closed. It's late. Frau Wagner must have gone to bed. Uh, what computer though? I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. There's no point. It's too late, Olivia. Oh, Kate's still in her, uh, in her slum. So I need to find, what was I need to find? Is that a computer? Oh, that's, that's the computer. <laughs> Okay, uh, open mailbox. Check our- check our emails. <laughs> there must be three years worth of emails I haven't read here. Better do some cleaning up. Ah, that's better. Were they able to- I don't know, were they able to, like, if people are searching for her, were they, like, were they able to, I don't know, tap an email account? I wonder if that's a thing. Okay, can we, oh, we, okay, the Iron Tiger refers to a region of Eastern Europe that has remained largely wild. It is mostly known for having been a defensive line of the USSR during the Cold War. Soviet forces deployed a large amount of heavy military equipment in the region for the prevention of an eventual attack from the forces of NATO. 
Much of this equipment was abandoned on the collapse of the Soviet Union and left to rust or to be recycled by scrap, scrap metal and arms dealers. The region is rich in salt and includes a number of industrial hamlets that emerged with the expansion of mining. The activity was subject to a strong decline during the Perestroika or Restructuration Era when the Soviet industrial fabric was sold precisely was sold piece by piece to the private sector. It's interesting scrolling down the... There's like this weird delay in terms of the text and the visual. Uh, some mines remained open but become the theater of shady operations linked to organized crime and identity splinter groups. Okay. Baltaya. Baltaya. Baltaya is a Central Asian country located between Russia and China. The capital and largest town is Kantar, a former British colony. Baltaya was granted independence shortly after the Second World War. It is most is mostly mountainous, consisting of several mountain ranges separ separated by valleys and interconnected by a network of caves and prehistoric galleries. 25% of the country is wooded and is also delimited by the desert ste steeps as well as by great lakes linked together by over 50,000 kilometers of waterways. Baltea's highest peak is 4,604 meters above sea level and is greatly prized by mountaineers for, from all over the world. Okay. Vagen. Orsethal. Vagen is the capital of Orsethal, a small country in Central Europe with a population of 9 million people. The city is built along the banks of the river Dompre, the third longest river in Europe, and is bordered by the Alps that separate it from Switzerland. As the third German-speaking city in the world, Wagen is renowned for its history, with its origins dating back to the, to the 6th century, and for its architecture largely influenced by the Art Nouveau movement. Devastated by a fire at the beginning of the 20th century, Wagen became largely mechanized during its subsequent reconstruction. It since offers numerous curiosities that have fascinated generations of travelers and tourists. Its population, estimated today to be at 1.5 million inhabitants, was subject to a marked decrease during the Second World War. Wagen, like the rest of Orsethal, was annexed by the fascists of the Brown Shadow. These fascists generalized persecution against the significant local Vagarian community until the community was wiped out during the genocide set up throughout Europe during the following years. The number of Vagarian victims from Wagen is estimated at over 100,000 people. Okay, then, oh no, sorry, search people and organizations. Necrology, what the hell is that? Yeah, what's necrology? New Jersey Times, obituary notice. Sarah Walker, following a long illness, sadly passed away at the age of 65 on August 23rd, 2003. Involved in the field of culture, especially in opera, and much loved by her neighbors and friends, she leaves behind her happy memories to all who knew her. Sarah was also the mother of the brilliant lawyer, Kate Walker, who has not been seen since she left for Europe over a year ago. That's an issue. <laughs> would that sort of be, would that be detail in the obituary? Anyway, the burial of Sarah has been postponed by one week to give extra time for the news to reach her daughter. It is hoped that Miss Walker will be able to come home to say, a last farewell to her mother. Olivia Foster, a long-standing friend of the family, invites all those who would like to pay their last respects to Sarah Walker to attend their religious service at 2 p.m. on August 28th. Olivia and her husband, Dan, would like to thank everyone who joins them in their grief, as well as Frank Malkovich and the staff at Mount Sinai Hospital. Katusha. Spirit. Fallen idol disappears. Huh? Katrina Spiridonova, the one-time idol of Soviet youth, is reported missing. The child prodigy, prodigy, also known as Katusha, joined the prestigious Soviet choral at an early age. Many were her fellow country folk who shed a, a tear 
on hearing her performance on state radio of the famous song that gave her nickname Katusha. The Honamim owes nothing to chance. Indeed, Katusha's parents, the voted party officials, have planned out her life with the goal of making her the etimim of the model citizen. But on the reaching adolescence, Katusha began to rebel, moving from one from one more or less radical libertarian group to another. Katusha ended up supporting every struggle against the established order. She militated for the rights of women, homosexuals, and every oppressed minority in general. A defiance took shape in the early 2000s when Katisha co-founded a punk group. Their provocative lyrics and parody of cabaret and patriotic songs began finding an echo in their circles with the liberal tendencies in the West. It would seem that the young woman disappeared in mysterious circumstances a few nights ago when driving an old van belonging to the band on the country road after a concert. The wreck of a vehicle was found at the bottom of a river. However, one police source confirms that Katusha's body has not been found, but that all the evidence suggests that her body has been carried away by the river. This has been contested by the other members of Katusha's band. The young woman claimed... The young women claim that their leader's disappearance was mandated by their political enemies to reduce their friends to silence. There's nothing, however, to support this conspiracy theory. Interesting. Okay. Organizations. Uh, origin Expedition. Nothing origin. relevant. The expedition mustn't have led to any major breakthrough, I guess. Oh, from the, okay, the, the thing from the past. The brown shadow. Okay, so she's uh, layering up on the history. Brown shadow is a term used to designate the wave of national social, socialism that swept across Europe in the first half of the 20th century. It first came to light in the 1920s in Central Europe. It rose to power in the 1930s and subsequently won over the rest of Europe, so triggering the Second World War. In addition to civil and military victims of the ensuing conflict, the racist ideology of the brown shadow is responsible for genocide that led to the systematic and organized deaths of millions of people. These genocides were carried out in a systematic and relentless manner until the libertarian of the victims until the liberation of the victims by allied forces. The Music Academy Guys, there are a lot of reading here. The, the Academy of Music of Wagen. Founded at the beginning of the 19th century, the Academy of Music quickly became a veritable Wagen Institute. The Academy trained many generations of internationally acclaimed mus musicians, especially pianists, so contributing to the cultural influence of the town the world over. The Academy is also an architectural curiosity. Built on Wagen's main square, its prodig prodigious world... Famous automaton orchestra attracts thousands of tourists and music lovers every year from around the world. The Academy is a place of great importance in Wagen history and played a crucial role in the tragic events of the Second World War. Following the annexation of Ursathal by the Brown Shadow in 1938 and by extension of Wagen, the Brown Shadow turned the Academy into a uh, Orbefeld Commandante? or High Field Command. Opening the, ar ar opening the archives has since enabled historians to prove that, is, that its soundproof rehearsal rooms were used by the brown shadows as prison cells in interrogation rooms. It was in this building that the last moments of the Wagen offensive were played out. The battle that pitched the Red Army and local resistance fighters against brown shadow forces resulted in the liberation of Wagen. Following bitter negotiations with the other Allied powers, the Red Army handed over the main control of the town to American and British forces to allow the Soviets to focus on their ongoing liberation of Central Europe. The Allied forces then made the Academy their general headquarters, so allowing time to initiate a transition of power to the rev relevant civil authorities. Once this was completed, the Academy once again became, pr became a pre Prodigious, pre pre I can't say that word, place for learning music. The Academy's recent history is steeped in controversy owing to a large decline in students over the past 20 years. It has recently been announced that the Academy is on the verge of financial collapse. The Council is said to have even taken the decision to close it 
and to computerize the Tam Tan Orchestra, so creating tourist attractions that can function on a schedule. This decision, this decision has triggered loud outcries from the town's heritage advocates who have multiplied, multiplied appeals. These appeals have been rejected. I mean, I mean, the main issue there is if there's no finances or students and stuff like that, then what, what is the solution to keep it running, people? Okay, let's go to Yunta Steinhoff. Yunta? Huh. Yunta. Demoiselle Lenny told me a lot about her. But was she some kind of spy? Born in London in 1912 of Austrian parents, Yunta Steinhoff is a filmmaker and photographer. She is famous for her major aesthetical influence on the cinema of the 1930s. She was at the center of several controversies over her presumed role during the Second World War, initially accused of collaborating with the Brown Shadow for whom she made several commissioned films. Yunta Steinhoff was later found to have worked for the Allied Secret Services, especially the British. Okay. I'm wondering if, uh, I mean, I don't know about the, the spy part, but then what was that? What was the film, the filmmaker? I believe it was female filmmaker who was like, it was a recording of the Olympics, but the, the for the Nazis and stuff like that. I really wish I cannot remember off the top of my head what the the film was. The documentary film was called. Yeah, it would have been a documentary film. Uh, I wish I could remember. If you know in the comments, go ahead and put it down. But that's what I'm instantly thinking of when reading this. The filmmaker lived in London until 1930. She loved mountaineering support. She loved mountaineering sports and photography, which led her, led her to following the international winter sports competition for different newspapers and specialized magazines. She, she sojourned regularly in the Alps, especially in the areas situated in Ursethal. Fluent in German and keen to meld in with the population of Ursethal, the filmmaker chose the artistic pseudonym of Yunta Steinhoff, so borrowing her mother's maiden name while giving a nod to her Germanic origins and to the heroine of the mountain film Das Blaue I don't know how to pronounce that, 1922, filmed by the very controversial Lenny Reifenstahl. Is Lenny Reifenstahl, hold. I'm trying to like, I'm really so, I'm like, right now I'm like stuck on, my head is stuck on the, okay, so yeah, this is, this is actually the film director that I was thinking of, I think. Photographer and actress known for her seminal role in producing Nazi propaganda. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, the director I was thinking of. Yeah, so she's born in Germany. Okay, so not quite, so not quite, in, well, maybe an inspiration. Her mother's main name while giving a nod to her dramatic origins. Yeah, no, I can I guess that you can say that she was a bit of an inspiration for this character in terms of her background. Again, I don't know about the, uh, Definitely don't know about the uh, the spy part. I don't think that's true. <laughs> but uh, okay, continuing on. Um, where where did I leave off here? Yunta Steinoff dedicated a large part of her work to filming mountaineers coming from the four corners of the world to challenge the renowned renowned rock faces of Orsethal. The beauty of youth and the magnificent landscapes combined in her aesthetical vision, so nurturing her passion for both the cinema and photography. Yunta Steinhoff was accepted into the very closed circle of Ursethal Alpinists, hungry for outstanding records. This circle was in those days very politicized and said to be close to the fascist ideas of the brown shadow. These ideas were ex exemplified by the conquest of untouched peaks exalting the supposed virtues of so-called superior race, whose pureness was equated, according to the racist ideology, to that of snow-capped summits. 
In was during this period that Inta Steinoff was commissioned to make films for the brand Shadow. The political movement soon went from fake patron to financier of pure propaganda. Yet, when the Second World War broke out, the artistic aura of the filmmaker enabled her to promote her films both in the capitals of the Axis powers as well as in a fair number of allied countries. It was revealed that Yunta took advantage of these trips to supply precious information to the allied forces, and especially to the foreign office in London, who had pre preventively approached the young woman during the rise of the brown shadow in the 1930s. Upon the liberation of Orsethal, Yunta Steinoff was detained for a few days for her role in the Brown Shadows pop propaganda machine. Her status as a double agent soon enabled her to be cleared. The filmmaker has since kept, her, kept herself to herself, having returned to living in her native England. Okay. Lenny. 60th anniversary of the liberation of Wagen, a heartfelt tribute to veteran resident resistance fighter. April 14, 2005, the ceremony com commemorating the 60th anniversary of the liberation of Wagen took place under a clement sky. The procession first passed down Wagen's symbolic memory lane. A heartfelt tribute was given to resistance fighters who indif... I hate what? Indefatigably? I do not know this word. Fought against the fascist invaders throughout the occupation period. Most of the remaining survivors were able to make the journey and deliver moving speeches that deeply touched the assembly. As a reminder, 60 years ago, all the resistance groups of Wagen fought alongside the Red Army and Allied forces to retake the town and Orsethal from the brown shadow. There was, however, just one disappointment. Lenny Renner, the well-known manageress of the refuge of Spiel... Spiel... Spielberg Spiegel and the one of Silver Spiegel and one of the most revered and emblematic resistant fighters of our town once again refused to join the commemoration. Our local icon describes her refusal as her own particular way of paying tribute to her comrades fallen in combat and should be taken without the slightest hint of controversy. Given the thunderous applause that punctuated the old lady's name when called out at the podium, the sense of decency and discretion was perfectly understood by all present. Okay, and then last one, Dana Rose. Dana Rose. No results about Dana. She probably never got famous. Okay. So that should be it, yeah. Okay. So... The more I discover about Dana... The more I get the feeling I'm only scratching the surface of Wagen's history. Oh, but hey, let's call it a day. I really should go to bed now. Okay, so some world building. There are a lot of information about the history in terms of, I mean, obviously it's going to be running parallels to our own history here. Uh, what? Wartime spoils found in, oh, we already read this. We definitely read this. Yeah, we read this. Okay. Just wanted to see if there's anything else in this area, though it probably just might be... Not a soul here. Not surprising, given the time. Okay. Let's go up then. Do they really just leave the fires running like this? Like... Is that safe? <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't go. It's just inspecting that. There's nothing else more. All right. Wait. I didn't see there's like a thing on the... Though maybe I shouldn't be snooping through people's mails, so...
Activate Melody. Winter 1983, U.S., New Jersey. Okay. So when she probably was a child, I, ha I would have to assume. <laughs> Very distinctly not showing her face. <laughs> The mother. I'm assuming that is the mother. It's not showing her face at all. I do like this. I mean, she's dreaming about her past. Oh, look at Kate Walker as a preteen. Is that you, Katie? Yes, teen. mom. I mean, who else can it be? Okay, I'm gonna assume preteen. Oh, uh, sorry. What was that? Inspect. Find the music box. Inspect the house before you take the music box. Mr. Richard Walker. Another letter for Dad. Last time it took Mom days to find the strength to open it. Huh? Okay. I'm assuming maybe it passed away. Looks like Mom's friends came over again last night. She's been seeing them a lot since what happened to Dad. Maybe too much. Okay, so her father- Mommy, can I go out and play with Olivia? <sighs> that depends on you, Munchkin. Did you finish your homework? <laughs> well, not yet, but- And there's your answer, Munchkin. Not fair. I mean, so I'm just like, where is the music box? I'm wondering. Oh, hello, Munchkin. Hey, Mom. Oh, don't take it. Continue exploring. Yes, please. Okay, now I know, okay, I know where it is now. Can we see her face? Oh yeah, okay. Is everything okay, Katie? Can you get closer? <laughs> okay, so I don't know, maybe they're not, I mean... If they are related, then the question is how, if they are related. We haven't related. seen Grandpa and Grandma for a long time. Mom says they'll probably come over from New York on her birthday. I don't know that the, the grandfather's face makes me think. Oh, okay. Let's try and like find all the. Oh, there's stuff on the table as well. I can see. This is a nice place. A house. That's back with the back to the beach. You know, this entire thing is glass. Wow. I hope I get to travel around the world too when I grow up. Okay, and I can't. Can't look at it. She got her wish. Oh, okay. Oh. Drawer? Oh no. The piano that mom ordered will soon be here. Couldn't bring myself to tell her that I wanted a drum kit instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Weird. Why why would that be It's not like she, it's not like it's written on the thing itself. So why would that be the mm, Mom bought those again. 
to ease the mother. Can we even see what type of... Ah, uh, I can't tell. The prescription label is... Okay, we can read this. Our dear Sarah, your father and I would like to express our deepest sorrow of what happened to Richard. We are worried about your welfare, darling, Sarah. You might be a fully grown adult, but we still worry about you. We wanted you so much. You were our miracle child. So even now as a young woman with a daughter of her own, it is hard for us to see you suffer. You have always been our pride and joy. Just remember, just remember, darling, we are here for you should you need us. We will always be here for you as long as we breathe. We shall be with you whatever happens in the spring of your birthday. Remember, just let us know if you want us to stay with you for a while until you're back on your feet. And we shall be down as fast as you can say Jack Robinson with our deepest love, Mom and Papa. Okay, so maybe not. It sounds like instantly... You are a miracle child. Okay, so this is making me think that there is really no relation between them, but Sarah, the um, Kate just happens to really look like Donna. Okay. I think we can... I think I can conclusively say that. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure how the relations would work because uh, there's a grandfather, there's a grandmother. A classical novel. And the, oh, here we go. Grandpa and Grandma from New York gave it to me for my last birthday. I really ought to read it, or at least dog ear the pages so it looks like I did. The Magic Mountain Thomas Mann. Okay, anything else? Otherwise, there's going upstairs. Okay, I think we just need to go upstairs if we can. Uh, you wanna you wanna change your view here? Thank you. Come on, I've been cooped up in my room for hours. Jeez, pulling my hair out trying to figure out the math problem Miss Warmwood gave us. I deserve a break, right? Okay. Uh, I haven't. I'm missing something. Because it hasn't given me the option. It hasn't given me any other option. Okay, what else in the house? There's the exit. There's that. So what am I missing? We already looked at that. Just go around the outer edge. See... Inspected that, inspected that. Cookies. <laughs> Come on, what else could I be missing here? Come on, this is, this is infuriating. I just need you to walk somewhere, please. I mean, there's looking outside, but... Hmm, what? Unless it's like if I take the music box. No, but it should like, it should cross out before that happens, right? How are you doing with your homework, Munchkin? Tired from doing it. We're going to not talk about it. So this is the pictures. Oh, here go. I missed this one. Portrait of Papa. None of these people look familiar to me, so I can't. There we go. That was what we were missing. I didn't realize the other picture could be picked up. Okay, so unfortunately the father has passed away. Let's now take this music box. And then, uh... Anytime, feel like it. <laughs> Give me the option. Take it.
You forgot your music box. Be careful with that, please, Munchkin. Where'd this come from? I already told you. Your grandma and grandpa gave it to me when I was little. Doesn't look like it's from New York, though. I don't know. Must have been in the family forever. I just love it. You've always liked it. Ever since you were little. Will you give it to me when I'm big? Maybe, if you're a good girl, when I get old. So when will that be then? Later, Katie. I'm literally, I'm literally still thinking about like the relation thing. Like, could could they be like, could Dana be her grandmother? I don't know. But when? <laughs> In a very, very long time, I guess. When I'll be gone. <sighs> Look at the letter. Okay. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time. Oh, give it a rest, Olivia. <laughs> Where am I? There's a phone number I saw down there. Oh, what the hell? You want me to call you, Olivia? Fine. I've survived worse criticism. Use introspection before you call Olivia. I shouldn't put it off. I better call Olivia while I have the courage. This is just the entire love letter? Yeah, your mother passed away. I mean, I am remembering, right, that the, the Dan, her husband, <laughs> was... Kate's original fiance, which, if I'm remembering correctly, I found him to be a bit clingy, but in the first game, it's the other occupant. Where are we supposed to be using introspection? Who do you think you are, Olivia Foster? It's easy to judge and lecture me from New York. You know nothing about what I've gone through, of what I've had to endure since leaving Hans. Looks like I'm not the only one who can't sleep tonight. Oh, there's someone else? So, like... Use introspection before you... Oh, here goes. Like, where is this introspection? I don't know why I should be so nervous about making a simple phone call. I mean, hey, I've crossed Europe, been in all sorts of danger, and yet look at me here. I'm worrying about talking to my former best friend. <laughs> oh, and I think I used to spend my life on the phone gossiping with her. So what do I risk? Criticism? Hmm. 
The one who missed her mother's funeral because she was breaking rocks at the bottom of a mine. In any case, Olivia hasn't stopped criticizing me ever since I left Valadolen on Hans Vorlberg's train. I'm the one who should be criticizing her. I mean, come on. Isn't she the one who took advantage of my absence to get her hooks into Dan? <laughs> now look at me, mulling over old grudges. That's exactly what I wanted to escape from when I decided to go with Hans in his train to Siberia. And then there was the departure with the Yukul tribe, their seasonal migration. Come on, Kate, for Christ's sake, stop procrastinating. Just make the darn call and get it over with. I mean, it's an old grudge, but she clearly hasn't thought about it or just avoided thinking about it, so... Okay. Either way, I'm going to end the set here before things kick off. So, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Next set, we're going to... I guess uh, Kate's going to be confronting a little bit of her past. Until next time, guys. See ya!